Welcome back everybody. In this video, we're just gonna... Dude just ran across the trail right up here above me, but uh... We're gonna just drive the gator around and uh, check out the progress of the food plots. Uh, I got them planted. It's been about 13 or 14 days since I planted them. And they're coming up good. I uh, have done a lot of work on the tree stands the last uh, couple weeks too and tree trimming and just making sure everything's ready to rock and roll because uh, it gets closer to September. I don't want to have any, uh, I don't want to uh, put any pressure on any of these areas. You know, when it gets closer to that time, I'm going to stay the heck out of here. But this food plot's looking, looking really, really good in here. Everything's coming up good. You can see I got uh, a decent amount of space in between each plant here. They're not, they're not on here too thick. Looks like my seed rate was about right on the money. There's a few spots where it got a little thick, but it's looking good. This is all uh, a brassica turnip mix up here, and then right down there at the end, you can see where the line of brassica stops. That's all uh, uh, oats, uh, winter winter wheat. Uh, there's a few beans in there. It's more of a wet ground. Uh, uh, spot back there. The ground's a lot more wet, so I didn't plant any brass. I, I planted some stuff that was more tolerant to wet soil, but I came over here the other day, uh, cut all these branches, these low-hanging branches off this tree because uh, they're in the way of my hunting shanty that's, you can't see right now because of the corn, but you will be able to see it during hunting season. And this, uh, spot we're going to trim some branches off this tree right here uh for our shanty is up there and we look right down this strip and this there's a few limbs on there i want to i want to get out of the way right now and uh then we'll go up to the shanty and i got a lot of limbs i got to cut up there i just went and borrowed this from my cousin heath this uh pole saw thing works awesome so we'll fire that up and get to work here Just like that, we got all these low hanging branches cut off. This uh, saw is absolutely awesome. I'll give you a closer look at the food plot here. All these little brassicas are coming up. We got some uh, really loaded apple trees over here too this year. And I'm trying this vine hanging deal that uh, another YouTuber uses all the time on his videos, uh, Whitetail Habitat Solutions with Jeff, Stur Jeff Stur Sturgis, I'm sorry. You can see that there's been deer up here sniffing on that. I'm gonna get a camera over this and share that with you guys, how that actually works. But food plots are really coming up good. It's exciting, I can't believe deer season's already right around the corner. We'll go ahead and clean all these branches up and then get up to the other spot we gotta trim. Boy, there's some of them that are really growing like crazy. Look how big that thing is compared to my hand. We'll go to the back here and see how that wet ground looks, see how it's doing. Another really big attraction we're gonna have this year. Man, look at the size of that track. It's a big one. But uh, look at the apple trees right here. Got a ton of apples on them. So that'll be another big attraction this year. 
even this really crappy apple tree over here is holding some apples. You see these deer have been eating up any of the apples that are dropping here. There's only a few apples I can even see on the ground. Okay, we're down to this end of this strip food plot where it's super wet. There's a beaver dam right here and this just gets extremely wet in here with rain. I mean, you can see there's literally cattails that were growing in here. But uh, it looks like this mix is coming up pretty good. There's a few brassicas in that mix and they're growing but they're not ever going to amount to anything. You can see they're already starving a little bit. They're turning yellow. Soil is just... Uh, has really bad pH in here, but uh, you know that winter wheat and uh, uh, oats are coming up good. You can see all the little shoots of that winter wheat coming up in here, so it'll be greened up. It's just not going to be, you know, like the good stuff up here. But let's go check out a few other food plots. Okay, so we just checked out the strip food plot, came up the hill. Here's the hunting shanty. I wanted to show you what I did to it. I took this uh, driveway tarp that I got from Slava and wrapped it around the three sides of uh, the base of it here. Because when we come in and out of this, we drive the gator right through a low spot in these fields right here. And we can drive right up to the base. And this is a pretty steep uh, hill right here. So you can drive the gator right to there. And we come up this hill right behind these big cherry trees show you come right up through here and the food plot is out around the edge uh, of the cornfield over there right over in the corner and uh, before we'd have to sneak up here and try to do it without the deer seeing us through these legs now we can uh, we'll have cover going in and out of here each night so we can get in and out of here without scaring any of the deer off the plot we could we could do it before without scaring deer we just had to be really sneaky now with this tarp, we're not even going to have to be sneaky at all. So that's a perfect idea for that. I was just going to put some boards there, but heck, this is a lot easier to do with that tarp. And uh, if I wanted to store any food pot equipment in the base there, I could do that pretty easily now too. We'll go uh, check the food plot out that's in the corner over here. I was going to mention too, I had to do a ton of tree trimming up here these limbs were getting a little uh ridiculous they're coming out and then hanging right down in front of the window there and i wasn't having that because i need to be able to see down in that strip food plot where kaylee killed her big buck the last day of rifle season last year and then uh once carl takes his corn down right here i'm going to take that out because that's right in the way of being able to shoot right down that strip to that new seating over in the corner but Carl's going to leave me an acre of corn right in the back of this field here. So I'm going to have an acre of standing corn and an acre of brassica out here. This is going to be an absolute, I mean, it's just going to be an awesome, awesome uh, late season spot there. Acre of brassica that was up in the corner. That looks really good. It's pretty funny. You can see right where... Uh, that's where I had a bunch of fertilizer come out of the chute on me when I stopped there and it was still going. And it totally, totally burned out that little spot of soil there. I tried to kick the fertilizer around but it was still too much for it obviously. But that's what happened there. A little hot. But this is looking really good. I got a trail camera that it's pointing right on the edge of the corn here, right where any deer that are walking through this corner would go by this camera. So I'll grab that card and throw on here whatever's on that card for you to see. But this looks really nice. Coming up really good. <laughs> 